Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for the beginning of November. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card. But more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. And doing so, I charge the balances and aligns the energy for our reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Sagittarius, someone rising to Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. So I'm going to tell you, you guys showed up in the um, Scorpio reading a lot, like a lot, a lot. I actually had to do their reading three times. I had to redo it because I kept calling them Sag, okay? And you guys showed up so much in the reading that it's not even funny. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone rising Venus individual, please go watch their video because I feel like it may resonate with some of you guys out there, okay? So the message, the song that I heard with you guys, um, over my energy is, uh, what's the name of the song? Yearning for Your Love by The Gap Band. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to the song following the reading if you so choose to. So I picked up very strong, fiery energy, like yourself, Leo, Sag, Aries, Someone Rising, Venus, and a lot of earthy energy, also soars, okay? So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Someone Rising, Venus. <sighs> what I picked up for you guys is that, you know, I heard, I literally heard that somebody needs to make a choice. because, And it, it ties into the song, like, perfectly, and then I'm not forcing that. In the hook of the song, he says, you can't keep running in and out of my life. Somebody is looking for something concrete, something solid. And I did, like I said, I see a lot of pinnacle energy. So that's probably what it is. Somebody wants to validate a future. Somebody wants to set a foundation, something solid. And pinnacles is about future looking, long term, setting a solid foundation. And that's what I'm picking up right here for you guys' energy in the overall, um, at the beginning of your reading. Okay. So let's part the deck. Change the cards at the bottom and see what we get. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, you guys know there are absolutely no um, reversals in either one of these decks. So if I get in reversals, I will read it as such. So at the bottom, for your general energy, yeah, oh my God. So I said somebody wants to validate the future. Somebody possibly could want marriage. And I'm telling you, like the song, in the hook of the song, he says, you can't keep running in or out of my life. Somebody wants marriage. Somebody wants to settle down. Justice card, that's the justice of the peace for me. And remember, I also said some of you guys can be done with swords. This is Libra with the justice. And this is Major Arcana. So this person is like, hey, either we're going to make this official or I'm going to move around. Okay. This is um, Major Arcana. So this is a heavy energy. This is like a legit energy that you may be dealing with at the moment. I feel like for a great deal of you all. Also, you know, like I said, the justice piece makes me think about ceremonies, marriages, judgment calls, things like that. So this person, I, I'm literally hearing this person's giving you ultimatum. And I feel like that's not going to go, Sagittarius, that's not going to go well with you, okay? As we part the deck, yeah, and I said this, woo, okay, okay, look at that. You got your card, Playboy, Playgirl, Knight of Wands, and then you have the four, the Three of Wands. So somebody, I feel like it wants to keep their options open, and maybe you, Sag, and if it's not you, you could be dealing with another fire sign who wants to keep their options open. Even though, you know, there's love, this person, you feel passionate, passionately towards this person, or this person feels passionately towards you. The very next card, you know, I feel like they're trying to manifest this long-term commitment with you. You can also be done with a Virgo or a Gemini. Someone rising Venus with the major arcana of magician. Um, I see another, yep, 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 there's arguing. Arguing conflict, because this wasn't the card that I was looking at, but I seen this one peeking out the five of wands. So you could also be dealing with another fire sign. This person could be emotionally immature because pages, those are people who are young. But also pages is coming with someone bringing in communication, okay? Um, this person may view you as immature, but again, you would know how to supply your situation. But there's going to, I feel like with this tug of war, you see they're literally at a tug of war. Somebody's ready for marriage, long-term commitment, and someone else is like they, they want to keep their options open and keep their freedom. And I know that because you have the Knight of Wands. Playboy, play girl comes in quickly, leaves just as quickly. For your clarifying deck at the very bottom, you have, yep, somebody wants long-term commitment. Somebody wants the whole kid and caboodle. You got the ace of cups, okay? So this person, first one or last initial could start with a W or a M. You can hear some type of communication in regards to a love relationship, your you guys' relationship on a Wednesday or a Monday also. Let's part the deck. Yep, they're coming in with some type of communication. You have the energy of Cancer with Major Arcana, the Chariot. 
also right behind it. Yeah, you could be definitely dealing with water. Okay. So you have water at the very bottom of the deck. Ace, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Then you have Cancer right here. And then you have Major Arcana. The high, um, and I want to say the High Priestess. That's Pisces. But this is also Pisces with the Hangman. So again, somebody's hanging in limbo. They're kind of trying to stick it out. Trying to hang tough in the situation. But they're like, either you're going to move forward with me. Or I'm going to move away from you. Because the way we're looking at the chariot, he's moving towards something, but he's also moving away from something. You see how the back of his chariot is facing this home. So you or this person is ready to move at any given notice. But right now you're just hanging in limbo trying to buy a time or somebody's trying to buy a time. Next card I see poking out here. Seven of wands blockages. So you could be a little guarded and defensive. And I feel like it may be you, like somebody's pressuring you. Or somebody feels like you are pressuring them because this is somebody who needs to be on the fence, attacking is what I'm picking up. And this could make this person pull back and retreat, go within. You have the Four of Swords, somebody pulling back, retreating, going within themselves, distancing themselves. I feel like there's a little bit of heartbreak attached to this because right over the heart chakra area, you have three swords. And everybody knows three of swords it's about heartbreak and sorrow and grief. But somebody's pulling back to go within and think about what it is that they really want with Major Arcana the Hermit. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, someone rising Venus individual as well. Or you could have separated from this person during Virgo season that just passed, okay? So let's part the deck randomly so we can shuffle. Yeah, again, okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to shuffle this upright so I can show you that I parted it, you know, so that we could get a different outcome. Okay. You see, now you have a different card. This is someone you have history with with the Six of Cups, okay? This is your energy also, Scorpio. I mean, um, see, again, I'm telling you, if you were dealing with a Scorpio, go watch the Scorpio reading, okay? But this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, and we did have a lot of watery energy. Sagittarius, I'm aware this is your reading, but I'm telling you, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Scorpio, someone rising Venus. But anyway, this is someone that you have a great deal of history with, okay? So let's part the deck so we can shuffle. And, they, and you, this person wants healing. Wish fulfillment and healing with you. With Major Arcana, the star card. Okay. Again, as I said you guys could be doing with the air sign. And that's the Major Arcana for Aquarius. So Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, individuals. Let's see what we get for you. Yeah, somebody feels left out in the cold. With five of pentacles. And they want to come out of that situation. And it's somebody that you have history with. Because you have the six of cups. This is someone you know already. This isn't a new... Mm -mm, this isn't a new relationship at all. Somebody moved away in the past because you have the Six of Swords. But it's coming up in reverse, which means this person could be returning to you and you may not know it. Or vice versa. Somebody feels left out of the cold because you had the Five of Pentacles in reverse and now it's upright. This could be someone you were married to or engaged to. Or someone you felt like you want to be with long term. Somebody has distanced themselves for sure. Now at the bottom of the deck, you got a Four of Wands, Okay upright that's marriage celebration long-term commitment and i feel like this is someone that you feel like you could be with long term look at the, you have the two love birds at the top very fond of each other but i feel like you know and this is going back to what i was saying before with the justice card i always think about this justice of peace marriage ceremonies things like that and this is a ceremony of marriage and coming together in union this person wants to lit because i've been hearing this since the beginning right um what's the name of that song by little mo can you deal with this loving me for life to have and hold forever i can't remember the exact name of the song but i'll leave it in the description box below but i'm telling you this this is like this person is like either we're going to get married or i'm going to move away okay so you have the um the ace of wands okay so this is definitely your energy so again i feel like some of you guys could be offering a long-term commitment or you could be accepting an offer for long-term commitment. So if somebody proposes to you, I feel like you'll be accepting it. Or some of you guys are hoping that they offer you some type of long-term commitment, like marriage. But this person is very all over the place and decisive. Again, I'm going to say, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with Scorpio. I keep getting this Scorpio watery energy. Look at this. And right behind it, another Cups card. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys, that's why I kept saying Scorpio. A lot of you guys are dealing with a water sign. This is also Piscean. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who has very strong watery energy. Let's get a possible outcome for Sag, okay? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So seven of Pentacles upright. This is someone who's not leaving the situation, but they're also not 
building with it. Because if you look at her basket, it's empty. There's nothing stopping her from collecting these pinnacles. In fact, she's dropped the ball at some point because there's a pinnacle on the ground. It's come up in reverse. So what I'm picking up from this is somebody is going to be making a decision. Bottom of the deck, tower card reverse, okay? So this is Aries and also Scorpio energy again. There's that Scorpio, okay? So if some of you guys se are separated from this person, I feel like they, with it coming up in reverse, there's going to be a return for a great deal of you all. And then this person is going to be offering something new. I said some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign like yourself. So I'm going to say again, you could be dealing with Aries because you just had tower card. That's Aries and Scorpio. Aries, Summer, Rise, and Venus. Let's get an additional message for you. Yeah, this, this person wants marriage. They want happiness, fulfillment. They want you, you, they see you as their ten of cups. They want the, the picket fence, the dog, you know, they want all that. You can have children with this person already, and this could be another motivator for this individual as to why they want to move forward in marriage. Okay, because they're like, we already have a family together. We're stopping it. You guys are seeing me part these cards. Look at this. You have three of pentacles. This person wants to build with you. Okay. I always look at this card. Look at that. This person has like some type of contract in their hand and it makes me think about like a marriage certificate or something like that. You see the arches in the doorways. It makes me think about a traditional wedding ceremony at a church. And then you have the arch for the rainbow. This person wants a long-term commitment. They want to build with you. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. Look at that. Three of pentacles in reverse and three of swords. Somebody could be holding on to a past third party situation or finding out about a third party situation because for you to have these two threes back to back that you can't tell me that this is not it doesn't connect with a third party it does it just does as much as we hate hearing third party stuff it does there's healing happening however because you have the three of swords in reverse and then look at that one two three right by this baby someone again someone could be finding out that they're pregnant um, again, more fiery energy. You could be dealing with Leo because Sun card is a major arcana for Leo, but this is the most positive and happiest card in the whole deck of tarot. Whenever the sun comes out, a brand new day starts. Somebody wants a new start with you and they want healing because remember we had the star card also that's healing and wish fulfillment. At the bottom of the deck, you have the sun card in reverse. And I feel like it's more so if you, especially if you're dealing with a Leo, someone rise a Venus individual, I feel like it's in reverse because you and this person are together right now. Because even in reverse, the, star, the sun card is very positive and powerful. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. You have the ace of wands being clarified by the ace of wands, and they both came up upright. So somebody's definitely going to come in with an offer, okay? Somebody's going to come in with an offer. If you're dealing with a fire sign like yourself, yeah, they're going to come back in. You two also have a very strong sexual connection. Because you see how the tip of this... Um, Ace of Wands looks like, it literally looks like a penis head. Like, this person is very sexually attracted to you, vice versa. You both have amazing sexual chemistry. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Seven of Pentacles. Again, but somebody is like, wasn't sure if they wanted to put in the work because they felt like the situation may have already come to an end. You see how his eyes is facing these dead leaves. And as I said, the time was 13, 13. So that's confirmation that the message is on point. Okay. Four of Pentacles in reverse, and there's something else. Okay, a couple cards flip down on the table. I'm not going to add it to the table, but I will read it. But they flip down. Ten of Swords coming out of feeling betrayed, stabbing the back. The Fool card in reverse, and the Chariot card in reverse. So somebody's like, no, there's not going to be a brand new start. Because the Fool card, right, made our kind of taking a leap of faith. And then you have the Chariot that's moving forward. So both of those are cards in reverse. That's cards of lack of moving forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because somebody's letting someone lose, okay? If you're dealing with an earth sign specifically, I feel like you may be letting this person go or this person may be letting you go, okay? Because for me, the four of pentacles is always my holding on for dear life. You see how tightly he's holding on to this pentacle, but in reverse, he's releasing it. And also with her, it's like she's no longer willing to put in the work to connect, you know, collect these pentacles. So if you're dealing with an earth sign, I feel like somebody's being given an ultimatum. If you're dealing with an earth sign specifically towards Virgo Capricorn, someone rise of Venus, this they might not like this too well. If it's you, because you know, both times for your general energy, you have the ace of wands, that's your energy. So if you're saying, like, look, either we get married or I'm out of here, this person's like, adios, amigo, or amiga, you know. But also, even if you're not dealing with an earth sign, I feel like somebody is just like loosening the reins like i feel like somebody was just holding on very tightly like look how tightly he's holding on to this pinnacle like somebody is like okay whatever happens happens but 
I can't keep putting in so much work in regards to the situation. That's why she's not collecting these pentacles, and that's why it's coming up in reverse, because somebody's like, you know what? I'm not going to keep pushing for it. I'm going to let it be whatever it is, is what I'm picking up. Wow. Okay. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.